Wow. I've never heard that term. You got to grease them in. <laughs> It's like playing through what hot cheese soup? Hot cheese soup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it looks like a like a big slushy out there. Yeah, but, like a, uh, Tyler, you were out there today. Yeah, a couple hours. Liz and I were there. Shout out to Big Chris as well for letting me warm up in the tent. Even though it was in the 40s, it was still a little chilly with the breeze. And I think for tomorrow, mm, not so great news. This here, where the 14 rinks are, there, just to the west of the island, there, right in the the little notch, and we've got more mild weather for. Actually, most of tomorrow, the games go till about 4 or 5 o'clock, and I really don't think we drop below freezing until after that. So Sunday is the very cold day with temps in the single digits and teens and more sun, but kind of late at that point. So if you are heading out tomorrow, it'll kind of like a, a preview of spring. I think that's how it feels. We've got Burlington here where the temperature is 45. It's a very dry air, though. We've been mentioning that all night. So yes, there is some melting, but it is not the catastrophe for the snow that it could be. It's 44, I should say the unofficial high was 44 in Plattsburgh, almost to 50 as you head down to southern Vermont. And now if we look at the current numbers, it's a little bit colder, but we're really not dropping off much tonight, maybe a couple of degrees, but we're waiting on that front which comes through about sunrise tomorrow. So it's a very mild night. There's still some melting ongoing and it turns much colder by Saturday evening, tomorrow evening into Sunday morning. That's when it's very cold. So the best chance for a period of light rain tonight will be over northern New York. I do not think it's very wet though for the Champlain Valley points east into northern Vermont. There's a little bit of rain potentially right now near Newport, but most of the scans are dry as of right now. And if there's any snow, it would be confined to the highest elevations just because it's too uh, too warm for most of us. It does look like a lot's on the way, but again, most of that will fall apart as it moves to the east. But how about this for overnight? 44 at 1 in the morning, then a shower here and there, but you can see most of the time it will not be raining as we go through the night. And then we're still in the 40s through the morning hours. There's the 32 by 5 o'clock. So you really have to wait tomorrow for the cold to come in. And see here on Futurecast as we go into tomorrow morning, a lot of that rain just falls apart before it even gets to most of us. So I think during the day tomorrow, it's dry. There could be a snow shower at any point, but dry mostly as the colder air starts to come in from Canada. And then the sun will be with us on Sunday and Monday. There will be a few clouds that pop up in the afternoon on Sunday, but it'll still be a pretty decent day and certainly a lot colder than the last couple. This is how it looks tomorrow. We're right up near 40 degrees at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. And then by the evening hours, that's when it starts to go below freezing at five and then single digits after that by late in the evening. So mild tonight with just a few rain showers and mild for most of tomorrow. And we'll say goodbye to the mild there at least for a little while. It comes in first, the cold, I should say, for Messina and Malone. So those areas have less of a of a warm sliver left over, but still near 50 for southern Vermont tomorrow. So the five day forecast has the sun for Super Bowl Sunday and for Valentine's Day. It is a little below zero early on Monday. If we actually do it, it would be day 18 below zero this winter, which is way above average and certainly a lot more than last year. But then we've got rain here coming in for Thursday of next week. That is a thaw 40s to near 50. I think that one probably does more harm to the snow and ice, but we'll watch it as we get a little bit closer. Brian Stu. All right, Tyler, thanks. We're getting you set.